Hi everyone, I went to see Harry Potter 7 last night, and it is part 1, The Deathly Hallows. It is the first part of the two-part finale, and I went at midnight with some folks, and let me first of all tell you a little bit about my Harry Potter background. I've read all the books multiple times, I've seen all the movies multiple times, and I have also um, listened to the books on tape and stuff like CDs when I drive my car like a nerd. So I know the books pretty well inside and out. That being said, um, whenever I go view the movie for the first time, I feel like I'm always, ooh, that's not right. That's not the way it was in the book. Like that's going through my head the first time I watch the movie. Which, let me also say <laughs> that I understand that a book is always better than a movie. I understand that they adapt a movie from a book, like it's based on a book. It's not the book in movie form. So I'm not an idiot, and I know that. <laughs> so that being said, you know, it's just so interesting to see a movie put like, okay, so your, your, what's some of your favorite books, right, of course, Harry Potter, are put into movie form, and it's taking what you have thought of in your mind and telling you how it really looks, sort of. Um, for me, even, like, one of the first few scenes in um, the movie where, in the book, you know, um, Yaxley meets with Snape, and they talk at the... Um, Malfoy's gate of their manor house first and then they go through the gates together and they see a white peacock well that didn't happen in the book I mean the movie that did happen in the book in the movie not exactly the same um Charity Burbage the, the um per first person that basically that dies in um the book in the movie the way it happened was not the way it seemed in my mind um for me the locket um Slytherin's locket that is the, the horcrux, you know, that we're all aware of. That item, in my mind, I don't know about you, in my mind, I pictured, um, like a silver, a silver locket. Um, not really in a heart shape, but not quite so elongated, more square shaped, I guess I would say. I always thought for some reason, I think it's because the Slytherin colors are kind of silver and green, so I always assumed the locket would be like that. It's more like a yellow locket and you barely see the S in it. So that was different for me. Um, the way that Hedwig the Bird, there's some spoilers in here, by the way, so if you haven't read the book <laughs> and you're planning to see the movie, um, there might be some spoilers here. But the way that um, the snowy white owl leaves us forever. Um, that was different in the book than it was in uh, the movie. Um, one of my favorite things about all Harry Potter movies is the humor that sometimes comes out. Um, one of the first few scenes, yet again, uh, is when they're taking Harry away from um, the Dursley's home and he is leaving um, for good. And they all take the polyjuice potion and seven Harry's fly away that night. I thought that was very well played by Daniel Radcliffe. He definitely put himself in, um, like Flor de, um, Flor, they, they, they put, he put himself in her, and then, in that character, and, and then him, and he put himself in, um, all the different, it was just so, that, that scene is very awesome. <laughs> and it makes you laugh a little too, and I think it was well played. Um, trying to think. Like when when Harry's trying to tell Hermione, I think we need to go to Hot Godric's Hollow, and she's like, okay. He's like, yeah. And that that's just so cute and funny. So there are a couple parts where, like, um, there was one Harry Potter film where um, Aragog, the spider, um, passes away from old age, and, and, and Hagrid's saying, oh, you know, he was a creature, and some people were scared of him, and Harry was like, yeah, it could be the pitcher. Was, and it was so funny, that part made me laugh. So sometimes there are funny things in Harry Potter, and I like that about it. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you about the movie. I, the whole time, so you know the movie's like an hour and a half almost, and you're thinking, okay, where are they going to end it before they go to part two? So I was thinking about that a lot as well. And I feel like they ended it in a very good spot, in a very good way. Um, I really do think that the movie was cut in a very 
very smart way. Um, as you may know, this, this movie was supposed to be made in 3D, and it was supposed to come out with 3D yesterday. Um, you could kind of see definitely their tendencies to having 3D, and um, it's still supposed to, I believe, come out in 3D, so that'll be awesome to see the movie again in 3D, um, but it, it, you can see where, ooh, that would have been like in 3D, because me, for me, I'm like, woo, and a couple spots in the major jump a little, so that's not even in 3D. So when it is, it'll be nice. What else can I tell you? The scene where Harry visits his um, parents' grave, um, that was a little bit not the same as I, I remember it in the book. Um, for me, in the book, it was a little bit more touching um, than in the movie. That was one of the things about the movie. Even though it's a really long movie, it moved very fast, so you did not feel like anything was drawn out. If anything, I felt like they kind of ran through some things a little bit too fast. And you're like, or even like sometimes, it might be their accents, I'm not sure, but for me, sometimes I feel like they say things and I'm like, whoa, if I wasn't familiar with the book, I wouldn't have caught what you just said. Um, so... <laughs> I can't believe I just said that considering I talk fast and you probably can't understand me half the time. <laughs> Anyways, um, hmm. Bill and Floor's wedding. Bill! This is the first time we've seen Bill, I'm pretty sure. He was definitely not the way I imagined him. He was a lot scrawnier um, than I imagined him. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have like an earring and kind of be kind of badass a little bit. Right? And I didn't... I didn't see that at all. And he's supposed to be pretty attractive other than his scarred side of his face, but I also didn't see that either. Sorry. Um, so I, I kind of felt like it was a little bit of a fail in the, in the casting of Bill Weasley. Um, I'm 99% sure Ollivander, the wand maker, is being played by somebody else than in the first few movies, or the first movie. Because the first movie was huge, it was like, Mr. Potter, I'd wonder when I'd be seeing you here. Woo! He gets his wand and stuff, and that Ollivander was pretty awesome. So I'm pretty sure it's a different guy, but they didn't show him that much, so I'm not sure. Also, what else? Oh, the scene with jo Do um, Dobby. Spoiler. Um, the scene where he gets the knife thrown at him and whatnot. That was weird for me a little bit, because it was like, it, he wasn't like human anyways, so you kind of like, okay, it's like a little puppet, and the little puppet dies, so that was kind of just weird. A little weird. It wasn't as emotional as it was for me in the book, again. Um, oh, the other thing that was really not the way I pictured it um, was when the locket Horcrux, when they are going to break it, and when Harry opened it before Ron, um, so these wicked beautiful versions of Harry and Hermione come out, which that part was really good. They made Harry and Hermione look the way I kind of imagined them to look in, in the book. Um, but did anybody else notice this weird sexual tension between Harry and Hermione in this movie, which has never been in the books? Because, okay, those wicked characters that came out of the locket that were talking to Ron um, definitely started making out with each other, which they do in the book. But they were definitely naked in the film, which they weren't in the book. <laughs> so that was where I'm like, mm. And then um, that weird, awkward scene when Ron leaves and then Harry, like, picks Hermione's hand up and, like, gets them to dance and stuff. What? Like, obviously, he was trying to cheer her up, <laughs> I guess. But then there was a weird sexual tension there, too. And I'm like, excuse me, this never happened in the book at all. He never tried to cheer her up in the book. She was always sad and that was a key point for Ron. So there's some weird things there. Um, but again, it's a film that I would recommend seeing more than once because you need to go through it mentally in your head if you're familiar with the books like I was. Um, but it was well done. And that's um, pretty much what I have to say about it. If I missed anything and you want to comment on it back and forth, whatever, please feel free to put it in the comments below because I love talking Harry Potter. <laughs> See ya.